Hey guys, it's Ollie from Eye Doctor in Sheffield, and I just wanted to make a quick comparison video between three different types of flux that I use pretty much every day. The first one being the Amtec 559, second one being the Stalwart Computers Light Blend. And the third one is this new flux, which is the Stalwart Computers Crystal Blend. Um, these are sort of general purpose flux for, and they're great for soldering logic boards. I, I literally use all three of these every day. Um, I don't use this one as much, and I, but I don't want to make it a, a biased video. I use these two um, because they're great. It's worth noting that there was no financial incentive into making this video other than the fact that the guys at Stalwart asked me to make it so that they could help other people choose the right type of flux for what they do. Um, I can't really comment on the darker blend because, I mean, I've had that maybe six months and never used it really. It was a three cc tube and it's just over, it's it just under half gone. I mean, I probably tried it once or twice, but yeah, I don't, I don't use that. Um, and there's a, a couple of other ones what I've, what I've tried, but I, I don't use and I, I wouldn't want to give an opinion on. So yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to get into it. The easiest way I figured we could do this comparison was to use a plain white tile split into three. And we'll start off with the Amtec 559 flux on the left, the Stalwarts light blend in the middle, and the Stalwarts new crystal blend on the right hand side. First is the Amtec 559, put a little blob there on the left hand side and it comes out of the tube pretty easily. Next up is the Stalwart Light Blend and this one compares in colour to the Amtec stuff although it is a little bit trickier to get out of the tube and needs a bit more force. Last up is the new Crystal Blend. This is the same as the Light Blend in terms of Needs a bit more of a squeeze to get it out of the tube. Next up, I am going to burn the flux at 420 degrees with a nice fat soldering iron tip. The Amtec 559 seems to really spread around when you start applying heat to it which isn't too good when you're working on a little capacitor or something like that and the board ends up the whole board ends up covered in flux i keep going at it with the i keep going at it with the soldering iron until it's got a sort of browning and burnt color to it and this one takes about 40 seconds before it's quite discolored from the heat. Next we're going to do the same thing 420 degrees C with the stalwart light blend. You can see that the spread of the flux here is a much smaller area than the Amtec 559 and it seems to be lasting with the heat a little bit longer. This one took about 50 seconds before it was a similar level of discoloration as the Amtec, so 10 seconds difference. I find that that is noticeable on a logic board, although in these conditions, not so much. Last up is the Crystal Blend. And I really like this one because it just doesn't spread around. It stays in the same place. And for cleaning up after you've been working on a board, this make this 
this makes cleanup so much easier. It it literally doesn't spread around anywhere. And I think this one is probably a similar burn time to the Amtec stuff. A little bit less than the light blend. But this one wins it for me on this one because it because of the spread. It just doesn't move anywhere. It's in it's in the same place all the time. I'm I'm pushing it around there and it's not moving anywhere. Last test is cleaning it up. I'm just going to put a little squirt of alcohol on there. And the Amtec stuff is very, very sticky after after it's been heated up a while. Really sticky. And, I mean, it cleans up. It cleans up till it's all gone. But it takes a bit more than this light blend, which cleans up pretty fast. Finally, the crystal blend, I put a little squirt of alcohol on there. I accidentally put more on this one, so maybe it's a little bit unfair, but that one wipes up straight away. Finally, price, the Amtec 559 is approximately, depending where you buy it from, 20 quid per 10cc. Stalwart light blend, eight pound per 10cc. And the crystal blend is 12 pounds per 12cc. For me, the winner on this one is the Crystal Blend.